Hey everybody, this is Trina, or at Gaming Angel on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm here with my Studio Calico subscription box. I normally get the scrapbooking one, which I use my planner, but um, now they've come out with a planner kit, and as you can see, it's a it's a smaller uh, bag. So I thought I'd um, see what their planner kit is like. I reserved it uh, ages ago, I think two or three months ago, I put in my first reservation. So we'll see how that is. I think I might actually do the um, scrapbook kit first so we can see that. Um, first also what came in this month's box are these little dots and they're stickers and they say different phrases. Let's see if I can get this to focus and I think that's really cute. Definitely something you can use in your planner. Um, love this and it came with two sheets outside of this so I'm not sure if they were part of the order or just kind of something they added. Another great thing they added is this magnet that says a monthly schedule and so that way you know when the preview is, when the subscriber pre-sale is, the reveal, because a bunch of things go on sale that you can add to the box, but they go on sale like at a certain time and date and then if you miss it, you miss out. So this is really nice that um, they've done this to kind of put it all um, in into focus for us subscribers. The preview kit Today is looks like the 22nd at noon. You can preview the next month's kits, so very cool. Um, and then they've given us a little code for being a subscriber. Okay, so let's go through the scrapbooking um, kit first. Again, I say I love these bags. Um, I love that it kind of contains the month. I haven't really found a good use for them yet. I haven't really found a good use for them yet, but. Um, I hope to uh, figure it out other than keeping the kits in one piece. I keep the kits together now in them. Okay, so we'll start off. I'm going to start with the bottom of the cardstock because usually it's just normal colored cardstock. But this month it looks like we've got some cool cardstock. These squares and, and different colors. And then the back is this really fun yellow and black. But I'm pretty much betting I will cut up these squares. Then, oh, look how pretty. Okay, um, might be hard to see without it being on the background. There we go. It's a see-through um, scrapbooking paper, and it's got flowers on it, and it's beautiful. Um, again, a little bit hard to see, probably harder to see um, there, but wow, that's really nice. So that's cool. I love these prints. Okay, so this one's okay. But it's like the opposite on, on one side or then the other is a coral. And this one's a Mr. Toad. And um, the opposite side is like little specks. And this actually it seems to be a lot of paper. But it looks like maybe they got rid of the um, regular colors that they were putting in every month. Which might be a great thing if they actually really did that. But we'll look through these. So these are green X's. And then the opposite is the opposite color. Love, I like that concept. I like what's going on here so far with their paper. And this looks like, it's like a big tent theme. So it looks like we have a carnival theme going on. And the other side of that is just squares. And it looks like you've got, we got two of those sheets. So I guess you could use each side if you wanted to. Oh, so here are the normal colored sheets. I just find it a little bit boring to do the normal color sheets. I mean, I guess we always could use colors that coordinate with the patterns. This is the best one with the little traveling circus. Um, and on the back is this kind of scattered pattern. Um, because we can get, like, most of us have just colored cardstock, just bunches of it. And so I'd rather have, like, unique patterns and stuff. So I'm surprised they keep that, but oh well, we'll keep going. So it looks like. There's also little see-through animal die cuts, um, if you can see that, for the circus animals. That's cute. That would add really nicely. I like these. I use these in my planner, and I'm sure there's another sheet somewhere that's still in there, but it looks like uh, this month we get gray letters. Last month we got pink ones. These are stickers. Um, if it focuses, I think it's having a hard time focusing. They're, they're actually pretty blurry stickers. There we go. Okay, so these are stickers uh, that are glitter, and they are not super thin, 
So, um, I don't know if you put them in a planner, but they might look good on a scrapbook paper. Um, and then these look like they're little tickets um, that you can punch out and, and put on what's going on that day. Oh, and here's the uh, other gray letters. Here's some stars, which go really well with the theme and the paper. And then here's some big sticker letters. That's really cute, actually. It goes really well with the paper theme. So their, their accessories really match their paper theme really well. Oh, did I miss one? Oh, we got some stamps. And let's see if I can focus on the stamps. It says, hooray. And it's got a balloon and let's go. Life is a circus on an adventure. So really cute, although these words are going to be way too small, I think, for a stamp to pick up. But I, th I think it has to be bigger for a stamp to pick it up. But we'll see. Okay, so let's go through what's in the planner kit and see if this was worth... I don't even remember the price. So I'm going to have to look it up because a lot of people now have planner kits. Um, so... Okay, it looks like the planner kit is a little bit of a smaller version of the scrapbook kit. So it says work hard, play hard, and it's kind of a long paper. You might be able to like put it in and use it as a dashboard in a planner. This you could definitely use it as a dashboard. And they seem to have cut it to fit. Um, you get some more of these stickers, and these are just different icons. Again, useful, but I would have, I would expect there to be quite a few sheets for a planner kit. I would expect this to have like five to eight sheets of, of different icons or the same icons. To have a sheet is, um, I don't know, just a little chintzy. Um, same with this. This is like a sheet of heart stickers. Um, again, cute, although really small. Um, but again, it's something I would expect quite a few heart stickers. These look like they're page flags. They look like they're sticky note page flags. Let's open this up, actually. In different shapes, so in page flag shape and circle shape. Yes, they are. But boy, are they hard to, like, separate. Holy cow. Those are really, really difficult. Okay, let's try one of these since I'm not going to probably use this shape much. Okay, so the whole thing is sticky. The whole back is sticky, which is different. I wonder how well it's actually going to stick, though. Like, it's sticky, but it's not that sticky. I don't, I don't think it's going to actually stick well on a planner. Let me see if I put it on there. Yeah. I'm not sure, I don't think that's going to stick well. But anyways, okay, so these are really, really tough to take apart. But um, there are a lot of them, which is good. Yeah, so that might work. Um, or you could put your own tape glue on them um, and maybe use them that way. I mean, but there's, there's a lot in each little shape. But again, they're very compressed and they're very difficult to take apart. And I'm not exactly sure they'll stick very well without you putting something on it. Then there's this gold washi with dots, which makes sense with the dot theme. And this washi that says this to do with arrows doesn't really go with the theme, but it goes with planners, I guess. Could have been styled a bit better. Let's go ahead and open this. I mean, like, if they were going to follow the theme of the other one, I would ex have expected um, washi that, like, had an animal circus theme or, you know, actually have some of that. So it's this to do with arrows, urgent. So that's cute, but nothing I haven't seen before. And they with the gold washi. I mean, every Michaels and Joann's has gold washi now and foil washi. It's nice to get another 3mm washi. Let, let's see the quality of it. Okay, so that took quite a bit to open up. So, um, sorry for the pause there. And then, um, it's actually not super sticky. Um, but it, it'll probably go well on a planner. Yeah, it looks like it'll be okay. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look like it's any different quality than, like, the little bee ones. 
Um, so that might be nice. Maybe I'll use it in next week's planner because I'm thinking about doing a gold and black. And we can see how it looks when it's actually on the Erin Condra planner layout. So we'll see that. And then the last thing we got was some clear stamps because clear stamps and planners are kind of a thing now. And these are basically um, read to do urgent today, eat family time, date night. And it's got some iconic um, little icons with money and hearts. And you can use these to stars for to do's. And then you can use those for errands and, you know, that for eating page flag. Um, or you can put an icon on top of the page flag after you get the color. So, it's a cute idea. Oh, wait, there's one more thing in here. Um, it's a little see-through paper clip thing. So, and it's in gold. It's cute. It's different. So, cute. I do have to figure out how much I actually paid for this because, um... I guess if you get if you if you're brand new into decorating planners, it might not be a bad idea because you get a couple stickers to get you started. You get page flags and you get some dashboards. If you're already into planners and you're already making your own dashboards with laminator and stuff, then this may not be worth the money. I've got to check because oh man, if I paid eighteen dollars for this or more, I don't think I would. I think I'd probably pay. 10 to 15 dollars for this um, so we'll have to see um, and I may subscribe for one more month and see how how it goes the stuff is high quality so there's that but I just don't think it's varied enough and I don't think particularly with the planner stickers I don't think you get enough for what may be the price now if the planner was only if this was only five dollars or eight dollars then maybe I could see only doing one sheet so, um, we'll have to see. Please let me know what your thoughts are. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.